Let's start off with the endomorphs. This is all about eating now, right? Eating. How to eat in a way where you can still enjoy your life, where you can avoid the magic air diet. And I keep joking about that because a lot of people just assume, and if I want to lose weight, I just have to eat less. The truth is, is if you're, if you're excess like 3000 calories a day or something, well then yeah, you might have to cut it down a little, but you know what I find? Most people actually don't overeat by much. They do sometimes, they do periodically, but if you looked at like a whole month, like if you had 30 days, let's just represent, let's just present, pretend that all these marks represent days. Here's what I find. I find most people, especially ladies around their forties or fifties, they don't actually eat a whole, whole lot, like 24 seven. What they usually do is they'll have like a little, a little, a little, and then one or two days, it's like, oh yeah. And then they'll have a little, a little, a little, and then they get stressed out and it's like, oh, give me the shovel. I know I do that. Like, you know, like, like it's my eating habits can be horrible if I'm not careful, trust me. And this is how it usually goes. So knowing that most people only have certain days where they excess eat, the question becomes, how can we change this formula? So instead of just having certain days where we excess eat, why don't we have days where we actually allow ourselves to eat much and eat much and eat not a whole lot, but eat more than satisfied, where we actually enjoy the foods that we're eating. We're eating in abundance, but we're eating in a way where the body fat really starts to drop and the muscles really start to increase. Okay. That concept is super important. And I really had to dig into that because without making that obvious, sometimes the thought process is let's just eat a little. If please make a note. Okay. If your lifestyle is based on a lot of sitting, yes, eat a little. What we're going to introduce to you is something that we call periodic conditioning periodic condition. So periodic conditioning just means that periodically you're going to incorporate 5, 10, 15, 20 minutes into your day of simple activity that's going to allow you room to eat more in abundance and using the food, the food calculation, if you want to call it that, using the way to eat in our format gives you the ability to eat more and enjoy your life and still be able to produce some amazing, sexy results. And that's really the simple formula. I'm saying that clearly because when you look at Helen's body and what she had to go through, it was like, let's just be real. It was a grind. It was a grind. Like she would come in at 10 AM. She would not leave until 12, one o'clock in the afternoon. You know what I mean? Like it was, it was, it was tough. So when you look at her results, it's easy to think, oh God, I got it. I got it. I got to do two or three hours. I got to do gym, but I can't even get to the gym. So I have to do this stuff at home. And then I got to do it by myself. I don't even know if I can last 20 minutes. Like it's daunting to think that way, right? We want to eradicate that because we have lots of women that have trained with us over Zoom on 30 to 45, 60 minutes every other day. And it's still gotten phenomenal results. So you don't have to be crazy with workouts and you don't have to be crazy with the food. This is supposed to be simple. Can everybody agree with me for a second? Do you like simple? Cause I like simple. I like keeping things easy, right? If it gets too complicated, I become that person that goes, okay, I'm throwing in the towel. I don't know what the hell to do. <laughs> like, what did you just say to me? It sounds like Spanish. What the heck? How am I supposed to follow that? But when it's simple, it's like, oh, okay, well I can do it. And then it just becomes a question of just going and do it.